All right, here's a question. What would you do if you saw an online ad saying that you could make a couple thousand dollars right now? All you have to do is hand over a little money first. Well, that is the scam being exposed in this week's W5. Have a look. Austin Smith made a living working as a so-called binary options broker in the heart of Tel Aviv. There's no trades. There's no, there's, there's no anything. It doesn't, doesn't exist. It's just a platform, like a video game. He has first-hand insight into the ruthlessness of the scheme. This is going to be a tough question for you to answer. Sure. There will be people who might be watching right now who mm -hmm. you ripped off. You were the guy on the other end of the phone. But those people who have been ripped is off. Is exposing say, exactly how it is happening. Uh, Avery Haynes joins us from uh, W5. So, okay, I had never heard of this before, yet you say it is one of the largest scams happening in the world? It's not only one of the largest scams happening in the world with a direct target on Canadians, but it's also a scam that a lot of people have been ripped off of, and they don't even know they've been ripped off. You may have seen on Facebook or on some uh, articles that you're reading online, because they usually target through social media, you know, single mom from Scarborough makes uh, $2,000 mm -hmm. a week. Um, and what they end up doing is with a very little amount of money, sometimes just $250 you invest, they will offer you free money. And you look on your very sophisticated uh, website and your account, and it shows that you keep winning. Your investment is going up and up and up. And they say, look, you're doing so well. Give us some more money, and you will make even more money. And so people are only finding out that all of their money is gone when they try to cash out. And people are losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this is not just affecting Canadians. This is around the world. You traveled for this story. Well, we met a man, it's it affecting Canadians and one Canadian family in particular in Edmonton, a man named Fred Turbide. Um, December of 2016, he uh, started this investment scam, Binary Options, and within six weeks, he lost the entire family savings. His family didn't know about it. They, he sent a letter to his, a text to his children, and he said, it's going to be a sad day. You need to go home and be with your mom. And when they went home, he was dead. He had died by suicide. Oh. And his family showed us the suicide letter that he, that he wrote. And he said, go after these people. Go after them. And we discovered that where this hub is, is in the most unlikely of places, Tel Aviv, Israel. You know, um, you spoke with, as you mentioned, the family members. We have a clip from his widow, Maria. And I want to play that for our viewers. Do you remember when he first told you about his plans for how he was going to make some, some extra money for retirement? I wasn't really gung-ho about it, but I know that it was something he really wanted. And he said he had bought this, through the internet, he bought this uh, educational package where they were teaching him how to invest. When did you start to get a sense that, that things were out of control? He was crying one day and he said, I, he says, I can't do this, I can't do this anymore. Does the family find justice or any of the other people who've been scammed by binary options, do they find any retribution, any justice? I think, you know, for the, for the Turbide family, that, that directive from their now dead family member, Fred Turbide, to go after 23 traders was really the linchpin in exposing this, this what is described by Canadian regulators as a pandemic, this scam. Wow. And, you know, you meet this family, um, and when you meet them on Saturday night on W5, you'll understand why we felt so strongly that we had to go uh, to uh, Tel Aviv, Israel, to try to track down this broker whose name we have, Julian Wellington, and the company 23 Traders, to try to, uh, to, to get justice for them. But the reality is that this is all fake. I mean, these people are operating in boiler rooms. We managed to get into a boiler room that had just been vacated, where all of these scammers have their phones and they're pretending they're living in Toronto, making you all this money, and they fashion themselves sort of off of the wolf of Wall Street. Huh. So they're very charismatic. They become friends with you. I mean, it really is a sophisticated scam. These aren't rubes who get duped who are just greedy, the people who lose money in it. It's a very sophisticated scam. You know, if you think if you go online to your banking account here and you look at the figures that you've got on there, you trust that that's how much money right. you have in your account. Sure. And it's the same thing in the scam. Unbelievable. I'm so glad you've uncovered this for us. Can't wait to see and learn more about it on Saturday night. Avery, thanks for coming to your morning today. Thank you.